Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be working with gradients on Photoshop CS3. We're going to be learning how to add gradients to the background, how to add new preset gradients and how to add gradients on text. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to open up Adobe Photoshop. In this case it's version CS3, the latest is CS4, CS1, 2, um, CS3 and CS4, generally the same. So now that it's opened we want to go to the arrow, we want to go File, New and a box should pop up looking something a bit like this. For width we want to go down to pixels and it should automatically change it both to pixels. Select whatever you've, whatever really. Uh, for this I'm going to select 600 by 500 <coughs> and um, make sure the background uh, is what you want it to be. In this case I want it to be transparent. Make sure the color mode is set to the correct thing for you. Click OK once you're happy. Uh, wait a second or two and a box should pop up. We can maximize this and there we go. There's the box um, Now we want to go down to uh, we want to make sure it's first on layer one The only layer that there is at the moment then we want to go down to the sidebar and click on the gradient if The gradient tool doesn't pop up. You need to hold down and go over to the gradient tool Once you're on the gradient tool go to the top click the gradient that it's on and you'll see these preset default gradients that it comes with. Uh, select any really that you feel like um, and then once you've selected it it'll show you the gradient below. You can change the colors by simply clicking on it, clicking the color and moving your mouse and cursor, moving your cursor and the arrow around to what, uh, what you'd like. As you can see, the new one is here, the current, the black one is there. Once you're happy, click OK. So we want a blue colour for this. The other end of the gradient is the white. We want to change this to perhaps a lighter blue. Either move it along or move it downwards to a lighter blue. There's our new colour. Once you're happy, click OK. And as you can see, we've got our gradient there. As you can see, if we want to add it to a preset, we change the name, so light uh, fading blue. Click New and it's now set on our preset so we can get back to it easily. Once you're happy and once you've clicked on it, click OK. Now we've got this cursor looking something a bit like this. We want to drag it down, hold down on Shift as you're dragging it down to get a straight line. Once you get to the bottom, let go of the mouse and then let go of Shift. Um, and as you can see, we've got the dark color at the top fading into a lighter color. Usually what we want is the lighter color at the top to give a better effect So what we want to do for this is we want to go down to edit oh, not Images edit sorry transform and go down to flip vertical as you can see it switched light is at the top dark is at the bottom so That's our gradient on our layer one now We can add gradients to just about anything on Photoshop. We're going to add it to text next So we want to click on text on the text cursor we want to select the font that we are looking for. I'm going to select a font called uh, Days because I'm quite a fan of that at the moment. Click anywhere on the on the image and start typing. Obviously, that's very small, so we want to highlight it. Go up here and select the uh, point size that you want, and then drag it around. Um, if you want to drag something into the center, you go onto the arrow, press Control A, and you should get marching ants looking something a bit like that, running across the sides. Then go to the arrow, make sure it's on the arrow, press that, that centrally aligns the text. If you want to centrally align it uh, vertical, vertically centrally align it, we do that, but if we want it to the top, we press that. Once you're happy with it, go onto the select uh, tool and click outside, go back to the arrow, and then use either the mouse to drag it down, or you can press on the arrow keys, which will also move your text. There we go, that's our text. We're going to now add a gradient, so click anywhere on the text uh, layer, double click it, and this box should pop up, layer styles. We want to click, go down to gradient overlay. Um, we can move this to the side so we can still see what it's looking like. That's the gradient. Obviously we've still got our presets, we've got our new preset which we made. We can make another preset now, so again change it just like before. So I'm thinking red and a pinky colour, so instead of the white Go down and go to a oh, go to, go to pink. Click OK once you're happy with that, and then we go. That's our new gradient. We can add another one, so call it whatever you want. Pink. I'm going to call it pink lush. Click new, 
and it's now set to a preset. Click it and press OK, and as you can see, it's now changed our gradient on the text. Now that's quite a bright colour, so you may want to add a drop shadow, change the opacity to 100%, and maybe the distance to zero, so it's kind of spreading around the whole text. It's still, if it's still too bright or you're still unhappy, you can go back to the gradient and you can change the opacity of the gradient. 10, you can't really see anything. 50 is uh, getting lighter. Um, 80 is obviously brighter. 90 and 100. Go back and type in 100. Um, and you can go and you can play around with all these different, all these different gradients. We've got this rainbow effect. Now, as you can see, it's horizontal. We want uh, it's. it's uh, yep. We want it vertical, so we um, change to zero, and it's now vertically going downwards. Um, again, change the color, and it will still be going vertically down because the angle is on zero. Um, if you want to change it back to 90, simply type in 90 there, and it's now fading from the top to the bottom, not from the left to the right. We can add more effects, so outer glows, inner shadows, inner glows. Um, tick or untick them as you wish, change the settings in them, and we can add a bevel and emboss. This is a really nice text effect, makes it look buttonized. Once you're happy with the settings, press OK, and you're done. You're ready to go file, save as, and save the image as whatever you want. There we go, that's how to use gradients in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching guys, more videos coming up soon.